active in it. Solid defense right there yes. by Rod Neely. You know, the question about rain or shine has always been as Norwood lets this fly. It's after Norwood and Mercado and the import. Where will the offense come from for rain or shine? That's a foul given up by Araya. That's a flagrant. It's declared a flagrant. Sure There's no, a, no reaction from the bench of rain or shine. And look at the Barangay Ginebra on the other hand. Yeah, Aranya, the rule is you got to make a play on the basketball. If you don't make a play on the basketball, then it's going to be called a flagrant. Roy Cruz with an excellent slice of officiating, telling the Ginebra team, who are all beginning to stand up, he said, I know what to do. Go back to your bench. Well, Boy Cruz making the right play after the call right here. He goes to review it. Every flagrant foul is to be reviewed. He goes to watch it to get a replay to see if his initial call of the flagrant is right. They can downgrade it, upgrade it, or keep it the same. We will find out here in a second. And this is what the football fans are hoping will be instituted in their game. And here is the official. And Ryan Aranya will be in the freezer. It's a flagrant one. No question about that, I think. It's going like for the man. Be in the freezer. It's a good expression. He's got to sit out for three minutes. That's, it's cold Put him there. on ice. It's on ice. <laughs> okay. Well, it, a, a really nice opportunity here for Hanebra. If Daniel can make these two free throws and they get another score, another possession there. Did uh, you ever play ice hockey in your... No. You, no? Because basketball season is the same as hockey season. Uh, I've been a okay. basketball player since no, I was I, I never, I've never played it, of course, but I, let, I get a kick out of guys who are put in the penalty box and they're still smoking. You know, the moves <laughs> play anyway. <laughs> This guy, uh, this guy will be in the freezer for the time being. Plus, if you're in the penalty box in hockey, you kind of like everybody's looking at you. You know the area. Detention. But everybody is saying, "What are you doing there?" It's 44:32. Sam Sarmente, Alex Compton, of course, uh, with us, and Magu Marjan. Good sized crowd already filling up the place. Teams that will play later on are watching on early. Uh, the shooting of Barangay he never has been strong here in this first half. Cortez comes off a ball screen against that 2-3 zone that Rainer Shine was playing. Rayback came in for Ryan Aranya, and so Rainer Shine going with a little bit of a bigger lineup now. Cross court to Neely. Shot clock down to five. Neely pockets the two. Well, that was a basket that Rainer Shine desperately needed. They've been struggling offensively this entire quarter. And Rod Neely, their import, stepping up and stroking a three. And he has a seven-point game up to this moment. J.C. Gonzalez has some good passes. Corner flip by Kagiwa. No real lift on that one. Derby Cruz battling with Daniels, and the last two painters come out with it. 6.35 to go. Ray back in the game. Baseline drive. Short pass. Cruz drills it in. You know, Gabe Norwood got bailed out by his athleticism there. Most guys would have already landed on the ground and not been able to pass it because uh -oh. he jumped so well. He hung for a while and found the open, open Jervy Cruz on the cut. Norwood took a digital photo of what he saw. <laughs> Did a little Photoshop and found Cruz sliding in and took care of business. In the meantime, Rico Villanueva hits the bench and we're going to have Eric Meg back. Look at this is what Alex was talking about. Woo! Marwood almost falling out there, but uh, managing to keep his wits about it. Uh, just nice athleticism, boy. It must be fun to be Gabe Norwood, huh? I'm sure he's a great dancer also, I'm guessing, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, look at this! The Rockets! I think JC heard us talking and said, Hey, I'm a pretty gosh darn good athlete myself. How about this? Good, strong drive right down the teeth of the defense. And it is a good thing for him to be back for Barangay Ginebra because he never needs that kind of player that will slash to the basket. Here comes the soul train. Wiggles in. Misses the shot. Men battles. But Mercado out. Muscles out. Huggles the ball. Well, Mercado might have gotten fouled on that first one when he went up. Looked like he got hit on his arm. But you love his toughness to go up right away. Quick. Oh, here's JC's drive down the middle. And man, does he elevate himself. Just an explosive move to the basket. Saul sticking with it. Getting his offensive rebound. And 
You're going to have to solve Merc foul Saul Mercado very hard to affect his shot down there. Yung tira ni Jason Tala, no, from the American experience. Yun yung picture mo as if you want to be in the program of the next game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gandang tingnan. Uh, if one of our PBA uh, press corps photographers caught that the, one. You know, the flight of the rocket. <laughs> Saul now with 16 points after that three-point oh, play. 16 na kagad. Dahil nga naman may mga presya kanina, eh, no ha? Samantala, here comes Intal. Cortez waiting for the pass. He gets it finally. Back to Intal. The dance in the corner. Intal short pass to Meng. Block in the air, but there's a foul on Rayback. Looked like that might have been a lot of ball. Good ball movement, though, from JC Intal. Finding Eric Meng wide open in the middle. Meng was open in the middle of the paint a few times on that play. Ball on Rayback downstairs, I think. Yes, it is. It is his first. So, Mike getting it going a little bit. Coming back here for never now with five, six points, I believe. You know, Eric Mank almost like one of those Greek mythical figures as if he's saying i'm back but mythical figures also miss free throws by the way <laughs> uh, that free throw brought to you by b mcdur base being the formula dito ka na sal yamado we're down to five and 13 but uh, of course no question about the strength of mank he is so vital to this barangay never team neely not making that shot from there second time wilson on the floor for the first time and both of the shots from dead on had been bricks as you put it <laughs> I see Tyrone Chan taking off his warm-up jersey. Miller! You definitely can't do that one. You can't leave Willie Miller wide open and not challenge him for the three. There's Norwood. Cortez spinning downstairs. Norwood trying to pursue Miller. Nice short pass to Mank. Oh, block, my! Block, yes! Norwood with his second rejection of the game, and he collects the rebound. His elbow is above the rim. Neely. Oh, four step all the way in with some wrist action. Nice patience by Mercado on the break, finding his import running the lane. The Rainer Shine cutting the lead down to 11. Cortez, three. A little offline. Mank may have been guilty of a foul here. Let's check. Yes, it is. Trying to go to the glass. He's going to see this block here from Gabe Norwood come flying in. And flying is the word. That's just a tremendous block. And that is exactly what Alan Kaidik is asking Bong Pascual, the referee, right now. Same thing with Art de la Cruz. By the way, T.Y. Tung makes his first appearance here today. Jaire Banyas getting into position, receives the pass, 12 on the shot block, here's Tang, Norwood, Rainer Schein trying to look for those openings, there's a wide open Norwood, left wing shot, can't knock it in, Neely says let's recycle, oh, athletic move, number two, yes on this third drive, but that's twice now that Rainer Shine players Mercado and Norwood have gotten their own offensive rebounds inside, stuck with the play, and gotten the three-point play. See, following up his shot after the miss, and great control. Gabe Norwood gets tacked on the arm, kind of loses the ball, but being in the air for about two to three seconds, and that's time to regather. Alex, nangyayari na to say, and I've seen you do this, and uh, you, you, you have great recovery, but sometimes, diba, in the previous game, you shoot 20. Lahat ng hawak mo, pitawan mo, pasok. Yeah. You can't miss. Yeah. But meron next game, Parang, bakit ayaw pumasok na? We'll try to get, uh, let's check what kind of timeout this is. It's a full timeout. We'll get back to Alex Gumton on that point after this. Let's uh, get the voice of experience where Alex and I were beginning to talk about this. You feel good on the first day. Now with uh, let's say for example, he can't nail that outside shot, but inside he's okay. What happens to the players uh, on that particular point? Well, a lot of times you're just hot. You're in the zone, you're playing well, you're shooting well, you practice so much, you get your shots up. Other times you come in, you don't know why. Sometimes you don't have legs. Sometimes it's just, 
I don't know why it's not going in, but it's just not going down. And some guys, as you said, 